Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Welcome to Game 4 between the 1990 Reds and the 1987 San Francisco Giants. As you know, if you've been following the series, the Reds are currently up two games to one. If they win this game, they win the series. If they lose to the Giants, then the series is tied at two, and it will be a fifth and deciding game. The Reds are visiting in this game. This is the second of the games in San Francisco. And pitching for the Reds today will be Danny Jackson, who was six and six with a 361 earned run average in 1990. And on the mound for the Giants, trying to even the series back up, is Dave Dravecki. And he was 10 and 12 with a 343 earned run average in 191 innings pitched. And he will face Bill Duran. I know I'm mispronouncing the name, but hey, that's how I've always pronounced it, and that's how I will continue to pronounce it. And he gets 3 6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's out. Barry Larkin gets a 3-8, which is a single, so that's the first hit for the Reds. Hal Morris is up. He gets a 5-5. That's a fly to center, two away. And Chris Sabo gets a 1-12, which is a foul out to the catcher, plus injury. And we will check that since it's the third out. And I believe that that's going to be a one-game Probably a one-game injury. Uh, nine is two games. He's out for two games. So he will miss the rest of the series. And the Reds will need a new third baseman. And let's go see who that's going to be. That will be Ron Oster. He will come in and play third. And that is it for the Reds. In the first. Not overall. We'll see about that. But Jose Uribe will <coughs> bat against, Drevec er <coughs> against Danny Jackson. He gets a 1-7. That's a home run 1-2. And that is actually going to be a double. So the Giants have a man on second base. No outs. Will Clark, he gets a 3-10. That's a ground ball first base B. One away. Kevin Mitchell gets a 2-7. That's a strikeout. He's gone. And that brings up Jeffrey Leonard. And he gets a ground ball to the shortstop. And he is retired. And there are... No runs for San Francisco as we go to the top of the second. And Eric Davis up. He gets a 2-3. That's a ground ball to the um, third baseman. The new third baseman, Oster. Or no, that's uh, Oster's in the lineup. So, But it's one out. 3-11 is a ground ball. Third base. Another third base uh, play. And third baseman busy this inning. And it's 4-7. On Dravecki's card, which is a strikeout, Dravecki gets the Reds 1, 2, 3 in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. Mike Aldrete is up. He gets a 4-11. That is a fly ball to right field. The right fielder, I believe, is a 4. And that's a 15. You've got a 15 and a 4 in the outfield, and it's a single. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, it is San Francisco. Yeah, Aldrete got a single, and then Chili Davis is up behind him. Um, and that's another hit for San Francisco. And he gets a 2-7, which is a home run 1-5. to five. And it's going to be, instead of fly ball to left, there is two down. And, uh, or is that one down? That's one out. Robbie Thompson's up 4-5. That is a 
ground ball to the shortstop. That's Larkin. He's one. That is an eight. It will be a double play. Let me just make sure that Larkin is a one, but I'm pretty sure he is. He is. So, and we go to the top of the third. Herm Winningham up. He gets a 6-11. That's a walk. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. I'm looking at the wrong guy. It's a left field. Fly ball to left field. And the left fielder is a 2. That's Jeffrey Leonard. And he gets a... What is that? That's a 9. So that's going to be something. That is a double. So double for Winningham, and that's the red second hit. Joe Oliver up, he gets a 210, that's a ground ball. Pitcher B, one away. Pitcher holds him at second. Duran up, 110, is a double one to two or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single and knock in a run. And the first run of the game is scored by the Reds. Barry Larkin up. 6-7. That's a single one to eight. That is going to be instead a line out to shortstop. Two away. And Hal Morris is up. And that's a 2-9. And that's a fly ball to right. So the Reds get only the one run. And we go to the bottom of the second. Bob Brenly up. He gets a 5-4. That's a ground ball to the third baseman. That is now Oster, and he is a 4. 17-4 and four at third base is out with no runners. Oster makes the play. One out. Eddie Milner gets a 5-8. That is a fly ball to right, two away. And Jose Uribe gets a 4-6, and that's a walk. Uribe is aboard, and Will Clark up, and he gets a 5-7. That is a single. They're going to hold Uribe at second base on that. And Kevin Mitchell is up, and he gets a 2-7, and that's a strikeout that ends the San Francisco Giant threat. In the third, we go to the top of the fourth. And here's Oster, the replacement for Sabo, who got injured, and he grounds out to the pitcher. One away. Eric Davis gets a 4-9. That's a triple 1-3, or a single. And it will be a triple. That's a huge hit right there. Man 90 feet away with one out. Glenn Braggs up. That's a 6-11. That's a fly ball to the left fielder. He's a two. That is a 17. That will be an out for sure. And it is an out one. And the runner advances and scores. So uh, they have another run. And they the Reds take a two nothing lead. Two down and Hatcher up and he gets a five eight. That is a fly ball to right field. So, unless the Giants can manage some kind of offense here, they might be in trouble because they're already down 2 nothing after 3.5. And, and Leonard is up. He gets a 6-5. That's a strikeout. One away. Aldrete gets a 6-7. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Duran. He's a 2. 11-2 at second base is an out. Two away. And Chili Davis is up, and he gets a 4-10. That, that is a fly ball to center field. And the center fielder, I believe, for the Reds is a 2. Yes, he is, Eric Davis. And that is a 4, and that's an out. The Giants do get nothing there. We go to the top of the fifth. Herm Winningham up, both pitchers still in the game, Dravecki and Jackson. Jackson pitching superbly, 
And Dravecki not pitching too badly, but um, you got you get the feeling so far he has to hold them right where they are. Herm Winningham gets a 3-4. That's a walk. So he is a stealing B. He'll stay right where he is, at least for right now. Oliver's up 6-4. That is a strikeout. One away. Bill Duran gets a 2-9. That's a strikeout. Two away. Now he will try to steal second. He's a B. That's a 16. He's gunned. So... They make the third out trying to steal second and get the man in scoring, get Hatcher in scoring position. It did not work. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. 0-0. Zero, zero. Thompson up. Or no, it's not 0-0. Zero, zero, it's 2-0. Reds. Sorry. 4-3 is a ground ball to the first baseman. He's out. The Giants just not really able to out any kind of really good attack here against Jackson. Bob Brenly is up. He gets a 5-6. That's a ground ball to the... Um, no, that's a fly ball to center. That's two away. And Eddie Milner. Eddie Milner gets a 6-4. That is a catcher card X. The catcher is um, Joe Oliver. He is a 3. That's an 18 and a 3 at catcher. And that's going to be a roll again. And that is a three. Three and three is a pop-out. So the Giants will have the top of the order next time when they come up, but they get nothing there, and we go to the top of the sixth. With the Reds ahead, two nothing, and Barry Larkin at the plate, he gets a three seven, that's a single. So he uh, he can steal. He's an A, but they're right now they're going to hold him there. They don't want to take any chances. One ten single, and that's why because they do have a good hitting lineup. And now they have two runners on. Their sixth hit of the game. Oster is up. He gets a two eight. That's a strikeout. One away. Eric Davis is up. He gets a two five. That's a walk. That loads the bases. That is a lot of trouble there. The Giants are going to bring the infield in with one out because they have no choice, really. 6-5, that is a fly ball left field B. That'll score the man on third. And that is the third run for the Reds in this game. And there is now two out. And Hatcher is up, and he gets a 5-6. That's a ground to the shortstop. That's Uribe. He is a one that is a one that's, I think, still an out, and it is. Yes. So, the Reds eke out another run. Now they have a 3 nothing lead. Still not insurmountable for the Giants, but they've got to get going in a hurry here. Uribe is up. He gets a 2-4. That's a single. So now he is aboard. you got to wonder if they're going to do something to try to get him to second base. He is a B though, they're not gonna try that. A steal at least. And uh, well, there is a triple one to three or a single double asterisk by Will Clark. And that is a single. So now the Giants have runners at the corners with nobody out and Kevin Mitchell up and he gets a 111 which is a ground ball pitcher B. They didn't have the infield in so that's a fielder's choice that scores a run, and the um, Giants do um, they do knock in a run. Jeffrey Leonard up. He gets a 5-5. Five, five. That is a strikeout, two away. And Aldrete gets a 1-8, which is a single one to two. And that is actually going to be a line out to second. No runs. I mean, uh, no more runs. But they do get one, and they make the score three to one. They're still very much in the game. Herm Winningham up. He gets a four nine. That is a triple one to three or a single. That is going to be a single for Herm Winningham. Again, the stealing B. He's going to stay for right now. Joe Oliver is up one seven, and that was also a hit. Uh, one seven is a strikeout, so he is out. 
Yeah. Billy Duran is up. He gets a 1-6. That's a single. So they have runners at first and second with only one down. And Barry Larkin up, and he gets a 5-6. That is a ground to the shortstop. He's a 1. They needed that for the ball to be hit to him. And he does make the double play and get the uh, Giants out of the inning. Out of a little bit of a trouble that the uh, Reds were causing for him. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And the score is 3-1 to one Reds here in a possibly uh, critical, well it is a critical game for both teams really. But very critical for the Giants. 6-7 Chili Davis, he hits it to a, a ground ball to Duran, who is a, I think he's a three, actually. What is he? He is a three. I might have said he was a two earlier, and um, hopefully that didn't cost uh, the Giants anything. But anyway, he is retired. Thompson is up. 112 is a foul out to the catcher, two away. And Bob Brenly is up, and he gets a 410. And that is a fly to center. He is a two. Eric Davis makes the play. No runs come in for San Francisco. We go to the top of the eighth. And Hal Morris is up. And that's a 6-12, which is a line out to first into as many outs as possible. Turns out it's just one in this case. Ron Oster is up. He gets a 1-7. That's a single. So Sabo's replacement does manage to get a hit and get himself on base for the ninth hit of, for Cincinnati. Eric Davis up. He gets a 2-9. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Glenn Braggs gets a 3-5, which is a single one of 14. And it is actually going to be a line out to shortstop. You get the feeling the Reds are letting our Giants hang around, but the Giants do have to um, jump into... Uh, they got to jump into offense mode pretty quickly here because time is running out. Eddie Milner is up. He gets a 3-7, single one to 13. And that will be a single. Eddie Milner is a C stealing. I know you probably would have expected him to be higher, so did I, but he isn't. Jose Uribe gets a 3-4, it's a ground ball B. Now he's aboard, but he's only a B himself. And that was another hit. Clark, 3-6 is a strikeout. Will Clark goes down on strikes. Man at first, two down. Kevin Mitchell up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a home run that ties the game. Unbelievable. And did I, what did I just say a little earlier about the Reds? You get the impression the Reds were letting the Giants hang around a little too long. 6-12 is a fly ball to center field, and that will be it for the Giants, but they do tie the game, and now we go to the top of the ninth, and there will be a new pitcher for the Giants. And the pitcher is going to be, since they don't really know how long this is going to go, well, wait a minute, no, it's not going to be him. It's going to be Don Robinson, and Don Robinson in 1987 was 11-7 with a 342 earned run average. He comes on in relief. Billy Hatcher is up and he flies out to left, one away. Herm Winningham gets a 6-8, which is a single one to seven. And that will actually be a line out to second base, two down. And Joe Oliver is up, and he gets a 3-5, which is a double. He just rips the double down the left field line. And he is now standing at second. And that's the 10th hit for Cincinnati. Can they score him? Billy Duran is up. He gets a 6-7. That's a single. Now, that would be runners at the corners, except that the runner is Joe Oliver. And he's a 1-10, so they are not going to try to extend him. They really would love to do that, but... They can't. Barry Larkin, they're going to let him hit. He gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop and ends the inning. So, um, and it was a double play ground ball anyway, even if there wasn't two outs, but I think there was. 
So the Giants come up, and now that's going to be it for Jackson. And he will be relieved by... Um, you got to believe it's going to be one of the um, nasty boys. And it's going to be, uh, yes, Rob Dibble. Rob Dibble will come in and see if he can shut this down. Of course, you know, you've got a potential um, extra inning, so Dibble can only go so long. We go to the bottom of the ninth, though. If the Giants get a run here, they win this game and extend the series to game five. 6-10 is a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Larkin. He's a one. That might be an error by Larkin, and it is. That might be just... Uh, really critical mistake there. Chili Davis comes up. He gets a 6-9, and that's a strikeout. And we have to put the air on the board for Cincinnati. Rob Thompson gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball B, and that's two down. And now Thompson is the man at first. And Bob Brenly comes up, and he gets a 4-9, and that is a strikeout. So Dibble does his job for one inning. We'll see if he stays out there for another but we are headed to extra innings. Hal Morris is up. He gets a 6-11. That is a first base X. That's Will Clark, and he's a 2. That is a 14. He is out. One away. Oster is up. He got a hit the last time up. 6-2. That's a ground ball first base. Two away. Will Clark busy in this inning. And Davis comes up. 4-11. Ground ball to the shortstop. He is a one. That is a nine. He is out. And again, Dibble is still out there, probably for his very last inning. Milner comes up. He gets a three six, which is a walk. So you got Milner aboard now. And uh, that brings up Jose Uribe gets a five three ground ball to the pitcher, and he is. Um, a two. Nine and two is an out double play. And Will Clark gets a two seven. That's a triple one to three or a single. That will be a single. The, the triple would have been much better, but they'll take it. Kevin Mitchell gets a one eight. Two run home run for Kevin Mitchell. Sends everybody home. He takes Dibble deep. That's the ninth hit, and two more runs. He has four RBIs in this game. He had a two-run homer in the eighth and a two-run homer here. And the Giants, with that, send the fans home uh, happy. And there will be a fifth game with the Giants winning this one against the Reds, 5-3. The Reds let them hang around a little too long, and they ended up paying for it.